here we are, it's Christmas and it's poinsettia season. Everybody loves poinsettias. They're the favorite plant of Christmas. What some people don't know is that because they are a Christmas plant, people think that they can tolerate cold weather, but they're actually a tropical plant, a very tropical plant, in that they don't like cool temperatures at all. Even temperatures below 50 are a little bit chilly for them. They originated and uh, come from Mexico. So sometimes if you're in South Florida or in the Southern part of the United States along the coast, you might see these growing as outdoor plants, but that's just because they're in those coastal regions. For us, we have to treat them like house plants because of our winters. So when you do buy a poinsettia, if you can bring it home in a bag or sleeved, so it has protection around it if it's colder than 45 or 50 degrees outside. That will keep it protected and you won't get any damage on the leaves. And also what I try to remind people is if they're gonna take the poinsettia home and then give it to somebody, a lot of times you'll buy poinsettias and you take them home and then you take them to your neighbors or your friends or whatever. Um, be sure and put that bag or sleeve back on there if it's a cold day or a cold evening to protect the plant. Inside your house, one of the things you want to do is keep it away from a draft of a cold door. When you open a closed door, the cold air will also cause damage on the leaves. And also you want to keep it away from a dry, hot air like a vent, a heater vent. Blowing on it can cause the leaves to also um, have damage on them. So to keep it looking its very best, try to put it in six to eight hours of sun, water it once a week. And when you water it, even though a lot of times they come in a container, um, make sure and don't leave the water in the container. Let the water run out of the bottom of the plant, thoroughly soak it, and then don't leave it in the water because leaving it in a container with the water, it can root, rot the roots and that will cause it to die as well. So you wanna not let it sit in water. A couple of other tips for poinsettias is, if you wanna to try to keep them as a plant after the holidays, what you would do is, um, as the flowers fade, you can just cut those off and then keep the green leaves growing and grow the plant in, uh, again, at least six or eight hours of sun. It doesn't have to be directly shining on the plant, but find a sunny window, even if the light is reflected where there's six or eight hours of sun. So a great window would be like a south window or maybe a west window. And then just grow the plant after Christmas and after you cut the flowers off, just grow it like a regular house plant and give it as much sun as you can. And then in the spring, you can either transplant it, put it in a bigger pot, or you could put it into the ground. Give it a fertilizer, whatever kind of fertilizer you'd like to use on your plants, and then grow it as an outdoor plant all summer. It will not flower again for you though, unless you give it short days starting in about September. Um, that means long nights. And that happens naturally in Oklahoma, but unfortunately, anytime you turn a light on in your house, you're interrupting that long night, and so you're preventing it from flowering. If you wanna learn more about how to make them flower next year or just more about poinsettias, we have a great fact sheet from OSU uh, Poinsettia Care. So anyway, happy holidays from all of us at the Extension Service and enjoy your poinsettia.